Let's talk about printing curves. 3D printers handle curves in one direction better than they handle it in the other direction. If the curve is flat on the build plate, you will get a nice, smooth, consistent curve like this one right here. That's a really sharp curve. It works well. If the curve is not lined up with the build plate, you're going to end up with some stepping just like on the top of this octopus head. You see how it's not as smooth as it could be? Here's that same test cylinder I've got over here. This one was printed straight up and down. It's a very smooth curve. Those curves came out nicely. This one was printed on its side. If you look closely, let's see if we get the light to shine right. You get that stair-stepping effect on the curve here. You can hear it as it goes across. This isn't as smooth as it could be. You also run across problems on the bottom where you can have problems with overhangs because the bottom part of this curve is a very uh, big overhang. You can see there, it was printed this way, that you can see some drooping happening there. It was actually quite worse on this part right here. This curve is not going to be as smooth around. So if you're making for a pin, it's not going to look as good. Now you can print it with uh, support. This one was printed with support and actually came out not too bad. You just have to tear off the support here. But the same thing, even with a really good print, you still have that stepping on the top. Those layers. You can see the differences in layers. Here's another part that uh, that I printed. Now this has a couple of different sets of curves. It has curves in these holes and it has a curve in this piece right here. Now when I looked at this I realized that I was not going to be able to align both sets of holes vertically. One was going to have to be a vertical, one was going to be horizontal. So I looked at it and I realized that this was probably the most important curve to get smooth. So I had to print it, print it sitting like this. And as a result, this curve turned out pretty good. Now if we look at the holes, see those holes right there? The ones that were pointing up and down actually turned out pretty smooth. But these curves right here that were vertical, you'll notice we had I'll get the light on there right. Some overhangs. So you get some grubles on there. That hole is not perfectly smooth. Nor is this fillet right here terribly smooth either. This one here, really quite smooth. So you got to keep that in mind when you are printing. Where do you need the curves to look the best? And orient your print to, ma to match that. The rest of it will just have to be what they are.